Eric Strump was here with John Petsy from Sky Spark, Sky Foundry. We're at the Ibicon Show 2015. John, how are you liking the show so far? Well, it's a great show. Attendance is really up. There's really strong energy here. I mean, the, the industry is changing. People are really coming around and adopting new technologies and changing how they run their buildings. It's good stuff. And I think one of the themes we're hearing this year, the buzzword amongst the real estate people is analytics yeah. and using data. And you know, it's, it's a cool concept. But uh, there's, there's got to be a sort of a reality or a practicality to it. Yeah. If you're an owner out there and you're hearing big data, I gotta, I, I've got to start using analytics, what are some of the things they need to consider or think about before they get started? Okay, well, you know, first of all, the why, right? We now have software technology that can take the data that's coming out of your systems, your metering systems, your BAS systems, et cetera, automatically and continuously analyze that data and detect faults and deviations and anomalies, right? These systems do degrade, things go wrong, Human beings interfere with them. You need to catch that in order to run your buildings efficiently. That's the first step. So great, that sounds good. So how do you get started? Well, the first step is to do an assessment. You know, what data can I easily get? You know, one of the big things we tell people with analytics, the goal isn't to do a science project and connect to everything you have and get every piece of data. The goal is to make some money as quickly as possible with as least effort as possible. So what data do you have that you can easily get? Is your meter data accessible? Is your building automation system accessible? Get an initial set of data, approve results quickly. And so the things that owners need to look at is, you know, what's their data availability out there? What type of facilities do they have? And what are their goals? We see people here who are under regulatory requirements for reporting and analysis. We see people here under uh, sustainability culture-driven requirements. They need to be better stewards of their buildings and energy. And we see people here who are just worried about the bottom line and they know that they can take 20% or more out of their energy costs and have a big effect on their maintenance and repair operations. So it's kind of like it's a trade-off. The cost to get the data versus what you're going to yield out of. You really have to do that sort of cost-benefit comparison per point almost, right? It, it, well, per, I would say per stream of data, right? Yeah. If I can get my meter data easily, start there, Put right? There, yeah. Put sort of there, understand, benchmark your buildings, understand the anomalies where your demand peaks are hitting. That can be done fast and easy. We see people accomplish that in weeks, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, and now you've got financial return. Now go to the next step. You know, and we say analytics is a journey, right? Analytics is affecting every part of our life. We're using data to make better decisions about our buildings now. So let's talk real quickly about the difference between alarm, because, you know, you look at analytics, a lot of people say, well, I get alarms, yeah, I get alarms right? I get alarms, I get alarms. Yeah. And, and that is a form of analytics. But let's talk about alarms versus rule-based yeah. data. Okay, well, I'd say there's a couple of characteristics about alarms. And the analytics don't replace alarms. They augment them. They provide us much deeper information. But I'll make a quick analogy. You know what an alarm is? You're in the ER on a gurney, and I'm putting a tube in your arm. That's yeah, an alarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what analytic is? You go to the doctor, you get information. Hey, I better lose 10 pounds. Yeah. I, I better watch my cholesterol. I better exercise more because I don't want to end up there. Yeah. Analytics looks at the data, looks at trends, detects patterns. You don't want an alarm. Right? Well, you know, some of the results are predictive, yeah. right? A, a good example I have today, you know, in this room, we're comfortable here. Right. But it's actually pretty mild, you know, for Texas. Right. right. We might have HVAC systems up above us that are not delivering proper delta T across the but you know what, it's a model. So nobody knows. That's predictive yeah. of, it's going to be a major heat wave coming in and it's yeah. going to be 105 degrees. So they, they are predictive. They're not predictive in the sense of, you know, what you hear uh, on TV about jet engines and stuff, which are perfectly modeled systems where every change can be directly related to a prediction. But they're absolutely predictive about seeing your trends and patterns in real well, it's good stuff, and uh, owners out there, I tell you, John, we, we affectionately call him Mr. Big Data because <laughs> he's been doing this probably longer than anybody that I know uh, in your company, Sky, Sky Spark, Sky Foundry. I mean, you guys, top hat. Um, what makes you guys different than, and what, what, what do you guys, what's your philosophy? You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I want you to get a chance to pitch. So what makes you guys a little bit different, John? Well, I, I think there's two key things about our philosophy. We believe we've reached the age where analytics can be programmable. You know, I grew up in the controls industry since the early 80s. Oh, yeah. It was a time when system integrators couldn't program their automation system, right? Only the factory could do it, right? That's gone, right? System integrators are perfectly capable of programming systems. We've made analytics programmable so that the rules can be uh, adapted to the realities of your building. All buildings are different. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of standard analytics you can apply, but this chiller plant's totally different than another chiller plant. You need specialized rules. 
So that's one key difference. The other one is really, we are a software company. We focus on providing the best analytics software to the people who deliver services to build owners. That's the system integrators, the specialty consultants. That's who our customers are. That gives us input from hundreds of system integrators that allows us to continually enhance and improve our product. How do people find out more about your product? Uh, Skyfoundry.com. Find us there. Send a note to info at skyfoundry.com. One of the biggest things we do is we run a live demonstration webcast almost every week. See it live, not a wow. recording, but actually see how this stuff gets used and really show you, you know, what can be accomplished. John, thanks so much. Man. All right, thank yeah, you, and again, you. congratulations thanks, on buddy. a million views. Appreciate it. Thanks, John.